Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Let's go on a field trip to the forest. Do you think we can use our addition and subtraction skills in the wilderness? Well, come with me and I'll show you. There are so many different animals to see out here. It, look over there. There are seven red squirrels and four gray squirrels in a tree. How many squirrels are there in total? Well, let's use our mighty math skills to write an addition sentence. An addition sentence has three or more numbers, a plus sign and an equal sign. We read a math sentence left to right, just like normal reading. But instead of words, we say the numbers. For example, two plus two equals four, and that's an addition sentence. Well, let's look at the squirrels and make an addition sentence about them. We know two of the numbers already, seven and four. And because we want to know how many there are in total, we need a plus sign to show we're adding them together, seven plus four. Now we need an equal sign and one more number to complete the addition sentence. Seven plus four equals? If we don't know what the third number is yet, we can write a question mark in its place. Now our addition sentence looks like this. Seven plus four equals question mark. And we can use the picture of the squirrels to help us. We already know there are seven red squirrels, so we don't have to count them again. We're gonna start at the number seven and count up from there to add four more gray squirrels. Eight, nine, 10, 11. Now we know that there are 11 squirrels in total. And we can replace the question mark from our addition sentence with 11. And our final addition sentence looks like this. Seven plus four equals 11. Now let's read it out loud together. Seven plus four equals 11. And you just made an addition sentence in the forest. Nice job. Let's see what other animals we can find. Wow, look in the river, 12 fish. <gasps> but four of them just swam away. How many are left? Okay, so there were 12 fish when we first spotted them. And now there are fewer fish because some of them swam away. This time, we'll need to make a subtraction sentence. A subtraction sentence has three or more numbers, a minus sign and an equal sign. For example, four minus two equals two is a subtraction sentence. We often use subtraction sentences to show that a number is getting smaller. In our story, we had 12 fish, but then that number got smaller. So 12 is the first number in our subtraction sentence. Of those 12 fish, four of them swam away. So we need a minus sign in the number four. Then we put the equal sign. But because we don't know the third number, we can put a question mark in its place, just like before. So, now our subtraction sentence looks like this. 12 minus 4 equals what? We can find the answer by counting how many fish are left in the river. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now we can replace the question mark with the number eight, and the final subtraction sentence is 12 minus four equals eight. Well done. We're having so much fun making math sentences in the forest. Let's try to do one more. Wow, what's that crawling over there on the log? Beetles. There are 15 beetles marching in a line. Oh, some of them just flew away. And now there are only 10 left. How many of them flew away? Do you think we should make an addition sentence or a subtraction sentence? Well, we can decide by asking ourselves, did the number of beetles get bigger or smaller? We can see it got smaller. And so that means we need to make a subtraction sentence. The number of beetles was 15, but then it got smaller. So the first number should be 15, followed by the minus sign. However, we don't know the next number. We have the number 10, but that's just how many beetles are still here. That's the answer. So what can we do? Well, just like before, we can use a question mark in its place. Next, we write the equal sign and the number of beetles that are left, 10. 
So let's read our subtraction sentence. 15 minus what number equals 10? Let's think back to when there were 15 beetles, and let's take them away one by one until there are only 10 left. To show that we're taking away, we can simply cross out a beetle. Now let's count backwards until you get to 10. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, and there are 10 left. And how many were taken away? Five. Now we know that the missing number in our subtraction sentence is five. 15 minus 5 equals 10. We did it! We made another subtraction sentence. Let's review what we learned today on our math field trip in the forest. When putting two numbers together, like the seven red squirrels and the four gray squirrels, we can represent this with an addition sentence. We write the number of the first group, a plus sign, the number of the second group, an equal sign, and the number of both groups together. And when a number gets smaller, uh, like the fish in the river, we can show this with a subtraction sentence. First, we write the total number, a minus sign, how many were taken away, an equal sign, and then how many were left. If you don't know a number, you can just write a question mark in its place. And when you're ready to find out what the missing number is, you can use pictures to help you. Count up when adding, or cross out when subtracting. Great work today. I can't wait to go on more mighty field trips with you.